Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Quay, CEO and President of Atosa Therapeutics, a clinical stage company focused on oncology and infectious diseases. Today, I'd like to talk about a very interesting paper that was just published on long COVID, uh, the condition that patients have after they've recovered from, uh, from the coronavirus infection, but continue to have various disabilities. Uh, this was recently published in the European Journal of Radiology. The title is Follow-Up Study of Pulmonary Sequelae in Discharged COVID-19 Patients with Diabetes or Secondary hyper, hy Hyperglycemia, High Blood Sugar. It's from uh, five hospitals in Wuhan, China, where the epidemic began uh, in uh, late 2019. Uh, the study involves 141 patients uh, with either diabetes, hyperglycemia, or control group. And they looked at CT scans of the lungs at six months and at 12 months. Uh, first point is that regardless of the condition, uh, fully 55% had CT changes at six months. Uh, these con consisted of something called ground glass opacifications. Uh, this is a finding uh, that's not unique to COVID, but it's characteristic of viral pneumonias and other serious lung diseases. So over half of all of the patients uh, had this finding at six months. Now it was related to their pre-existing conditions. So 65%, 58%, and 37% respectively uh, in the groups that were either diabetic, high blood sugar, or control. So clearly it's related to you know, diabetes and, and, and hyperglycemia. At 12 months, it hadn't got much better. It was 52% of all of the subjects, regardless of the pre-existing conditions. Now, they looked at other factors that may have impacted it, and one of the ones that jumped out was how long the patients were in the hospital. So if you divided the patients between those who were in the hospital less than 20 days or more than 20 days, there was about a five-fold, 500% increase in these findings in patients who had been in the hospital for a long time. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about this study, you can find the paper online. Uh, to find out more about what Atosa Therapeutics is doing in its clinical programs in oncology and infectious diseases, please go to our website at www.atosainc.com. Thank you.